Hey y'all. <laughs> okay, so y'all, I was thinking about this last night and I was just thinking how, as an adult, how important for me, as a woman, how important it is for me to have, to cultivate women, relationships, sisterhood, connections with women, platonically and how important that is. Having a friendship, a connection with genuine, pure-hearted women that have your best interests, you have their best interests, it is like medicine. I've always been a girl who wanted friends because I'm the only child on my mom's side. So it's always just been me and her. I grew up with my cousins and my sister that's on my dad's side when I was younger. And then when I got in high school, you know, I had friendships, but those friendships were superficial. We were young, you know, we didn't know nothing in. And then I got went to college and I felt like I started to meet people who I am friends with to this day. Um, I've made great connections, I will feel like, in college. And especially now, I have a beautiful extended family of women. Every time I go around them or we just link up, it feels so refreshing. And I've always known how important women friendships were, but not until really I got to this age because it's needed. We make our romantic relationships more important than we do our platonic relationships. And I know I've heard a lot of women say that they don't really even like hanging around other women or they don't really trust other women that they like hanging around with the guys or they want to be with a man all the time to so each is their own. But for me, you, 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 as a woman, I'm going to say us as women, it is a need. Now I'm not going to say it's a need, but it is important to have and cultivate relationships with good sisters, with good women. We, we need each other to a certain extent, especially when we go through the things that we go through as women, because who can relate to a woman other than an, another woman? I feel like now the women that I have in my life are just amazing. I have absolutely no complaints. Yes, we are different in many different ways, but the heart posture is there. The love is there, the compassion is there, the empathy is there, the sensitivity is there. The understanding is there. And every time I go around them, it always feels like I'm being poured into. And they tell me the same thing when they are around me. So I just want women to know, and young girls, young ladies to know that don't discard your platonic relationships, your friendships with women when you date men or when you are in a relationship or marriage. Don't just throw, especially if it's a good friend. I'm not saying that all women are good going to be good friends or all women are going or all women are going to align with you no but for those who do align with you don't take them for granted and don't discard them as soon as you get into a relationship because i know a lot of women who do that they feel like that their man is supposed to do everything with them and yes if you are in a relationship with a man romantically yes y'all can have y'all things that y'all like together but ask yourself this does he hang out with his boys when he wants to does he cut his friends off for you does he put you over his friends all the time 100 of the time and to be honest we all should have our own um individual time our own time with our friends and of course if you are in a romantic relationship your time with your partner i don't feel like all your time should go to your romantic partner like no do not lose your identity. Do not let your friends go, your good friends go um, for a romantic relationship because let's be real, I've heard so many stories where a lot of women would just cut their friends off as soon as they get with someone. And then when they break up, now they over there looking sad. And it's like, these are the times the most when you need your sisters. These are the time the most when you need your sisters because your sisters are gonna listen to you. They're going to allow you to cry, just sit. The connection with uh, with women is so important. And mind you, I'm making this clear because I feel like when I talk about stuff like this, a lot of the times people don't try to understand me. They try to misunderstand me so, uh, so much. Like purposely, they try to take what I'm saying and make it out to be like, oh, you must like women in a romantic way. And it's like, no, platonically, like I always say, from a friendship point of view and a sisterhood I absolutely love respect and honor the friendships with women I do 
I do. <laughs> they are so important. They are needed, like I said early in the video, to a certain extent. Especially women who have children. Because think about it. A lot, of, a lot of the times, the woman is doing more of the work, right? So just think about it. If you and your girls, y'all took y'all kids to the beach. Not only do you have a person who's going to help you with everything. They're going to watch your kids like it's they're their kids and vice versa. Y'all can tackle everything together and y'all can talk y'all can laugh y'all can cry y'all just can connect on a soul level and help each other as women with the with everything that women go through been through go through will go through i feel like no one truly can relate to us or connect or understand us understand us as much as another woman and again not all women obviously i'm never talking about all of anything Shouldn't have to say that, but I just wanted to make that clear. Um, sorry, I'm not looking at the camera, y'all. I'm just collecting my thoughts. Because I was wanting to talk about this for a long time. And to let others know and to remind other people that don't just prioritize romance. There is more to life than just a romantic relationship. There is more to life than screwing a man. There is more to life than being a wife there's more to life than being a mother there's more to life than just this stuff that people put at the top of the, the charts as value as valuable as importance no friendships are literally the same as a romantic relationship the only difference is sex that's the only difference so oh also too i want to say this I feel, when I'm around my, my girlfriends, I feel that my existence is just enough. I don't feel like I have to perform. I don't feel like I have to, of course, nothing sexual going on, but I don't feel like, okay, if I'm not using my body or doing this, then what am I, what am I of use? Like, what am I worth if I'm not using my body? So when I'm with my girlfriends, I don't feel like I have to do anything but be me but breathe and be me and that is enough that is enough for them that is enough they don't make me feel worthless they don't make me feel like i don't matter if i'm not doing something or buying something or or performing in a way it's just a safe space all the time with my girlfriends and i wouldn't trade that for anything in the world and i remember one time i was telling my uh when i was with my ex and i was telling him i was like I just want at least one a good two girlfriends so I can do this with and we can go here, we can do this, we can do this. And he was like, well, that's what I'm for. Ain't that's what I'm for? I said certain things, yes, but I also too want to spend time with my girlfriends. I'm not supposed to do every single thing with you. I'm also supposed to do things by myself, with myself, and with my friends and family. A lot of men, not lot, not all, but most men want you to make them their, your whole life your whole identity my man my man my man and if if you are that type of girl okay i'm not coming for you but just really think about it if that's what you want that's what you want but just just know that don't don't let a man make you feel guilty for wanting women relationship or girl relationship don't and again platonically don't let a man make you feel guilty for wanting to spend time with your friend we should put well, who needs first our needs what do we truly want to do who do we truly want to be what do we truly want to say who do we truly want to hang around and i don't want to hang around anyone who doesn't have a nature of love mind you not perfection but just love at the core i don't want to be around anybody who does not see me or hear me or feel me and vice versa the people that i'm around i want them also to feel that way when they are with me i know you are valuable just just by existing do not take your girl friendship for granted so yeah that's all i really had to say about that i just love my girlfriend so much and i know that they love me and that they care about me and that's a blessing to have so when people try to tell women oh you don't want a man so you're going to be alone baby i got girlfriends platonically i got a beautiful mother i have myself so therefore i'm never alone anyway you cannot gaslight me 
you cannot manipulate me. Them days been gone. Been gone. I know this will come across to the right person at the right time when they are ready to receive it. Even if it's just a planting of the seed in your mind to know that whatever is important to you, ask yourself why. And always do what feels right. And also not just what feels right, but also what makes sense. You know, like we, we can go off the feelings, yes, but it got to make sense. It has to make sense. So let's go hand in hand with, okay, this 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 feels right. Like I feel safe here. I feel loved here. And it makes sense because, yeah, you know, so whatever that is, you'll know for yourself. I'm not trying to tell nobody what to do or how it should be. I just know that us women at the beginning, middle, and end of the day, we are each other's support system. We are. So thank you so much for watching. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. Um, I'll see y'all next time.